Hi everyone, continuing on the quick tip series, here's the second one. Uh, we'll go, today we'll do the, as well the face exploration, I'll call it the 2.0. Um, and this, this one is very quick and is more as, not a walkthrough, it's more how, to, how I achieve it, so it's more the technique behind it. Um, as you can see here on uh, Tino 4D, here is the that same model and I'm using Voronoi. So you can see here is the fracture and then some objects. Uh, I'll recreate this but it's not going to be exactly the same. So let's again, um, I love doing this uh, sculpting preset so let's go again get a base mesh and this time we're just going to give for the male. Right, so let's again take this off. We don't need this, any of these uh, shaders. Let's scale it up, and position it. All right, that should be good. So let's get the Voronoi fracture, and as a normal in the sources, you always get the point generator. We don't want it. Uh, the cool thing of Voronoi is that you can use pretty much anything to generate the fracture. So we'll start by using a spline. And as you see, I'm just kind of putting it from the back to the, to the front in a diagonal way. And I'm gonna now add that into the source. And you see slicing it, which is pretty cool already. And you can change how, many, how you want the distribution, how many points. So it's a bit of experimenting. To get to where you like. Uh, the count is cool because it gives a bit more variation. Alright, 30 should be good. Let's go back to the options of the runner and the object and let's offset it. A bit too much. Now that we have the spline, we're just gonna add a sphere. You can add any object. Uh, so let's push it side and on again on the Voronoi fracture in the source. We're gonna drop it and here we go. And it's based on the vertices. Uh, you can change. Uh, in this case, I'm just gonna leave it as the vertices and then you can change settings on the sphere, scale it, move it, and you'll get different interesting uh, looking weird faces. As you see, it's very like the position, how the spline points, everything will depend and will influence it, how the end result will be. Um, so that's why here is more the explanation behind it rather than doing exactly how I did it. Um, and just by playing around, you can get pretty cool, uh, interesting shapes. Let me just group this. And now if we go back to the one that I've done, you see I'm using again the sphere and a spline. So it's pretty much the same. It's just depending on how your settings and where you position them and all of that. But as you can see, it's very similar and it's just playing around and then you get interesting results. Thanks guys and I'll keep on trying to post more of these quick tips. Um, have a good day!